next page. Here is where we're coming. I'm reinforcing that categorization again. D H L. Let's be very clear. Lack of direction. Compass. Okay, compass. Okay, lack of motivation. Okay, so we have carrot. Okay, or stick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Personal limitations. We have. What's this? Your capability. Okay. Your capability. Ability. So think, this is this category, DHL, is the missing link that most managers don't follow in trying to solve a problem like this. Uh, actually, I, I'm just thinking of the, the uh, you know, <coughs> what you mentioned about the domain case. Uh, maybe the employee tried to get some kind of money from the uh, uh, company uh, in a completely in a wrong way, but I, I, I don't think they are connected with the uh, this victory DHL. Even they have direction, they have motivation, they have no limitation, but they still want to make money for themselves. Yes. Okay. Um, so how, how are they connected? No, I think part of it is the motivation. Okay to put up <coughs> every one of us when we go to work um, have thinking time okay how much of that time are you applying on your work when we say more motivation not just extra hours work but how how much are you focusing on the doing a good job and really enjoying your work, okay? The minute you start to think about these other things, partly is partly motivation, okay? Partly, okay? So, okay. so what you say, the GOME example where that person took the prizes and not give to real customers, okay, is yeah, partly direction, all right. It's the direction of the company and how the senior management are teaching the people in the organisation, okay, in terms of personal ethics and obeying the rules of the procedures of the organisation, the internal controls, things like that, okay, and and any when we come to motivation is uh, are the the way in which you reward employees, is that consistent with the direction you are trying to get them to head? Okay. Right. So it, it's probably 80% uh, direction. Okay. I would say it's a direction problem from senior management. Senior management. And how they build up the culture. Okay, let's be very clear, all right? Are we all, we all understand this go main problem, yes? Can we all be on the same page? Are we all shit? Bad, okay? Yeah, hello? Yes, yes. All right, yes. good, good, good. All right, so what happened? The employee arranged to pocket the prizes from this competition, yes? Okay, that is number one uh, direction of D, D problem. Number one, the senior management okay, need to instill the not only the the controls in the organisation but the ethics, okay, the behaviour, the pro appropriate behaviour in the organisation. Now, why didn't they do that? Because Gome was growing very, very fast. It, GoMe is one of the fastest growing retail companies in China, yes? yes? Like they just go and buy 700 stores, right? It is sign and contract, yes. Bang, right? We own this. And so how can you, when you're fast growing and your employees are 
the total number of employees just keeps on multiplying. It's very difficult. You lose, you lose, you lose direction. You lose the you lose the power of direction because it takes time. It takes time to bring in the new stores that you have acquired. Okay. And then you need to train them and teach them of the way of go man. Okay. Right. It takes time. Okay. That's a problem that occurs for a lot of fast growing companies. Okay. <coughs> Not necessarily um, motivation. Everyone's very excited because of growth, right? Lots of opportunity. Um, limitations. There's always limitations. But a lot of it is the direction. Okay. I'll put the D first, number one. D first. Okay, any others? Is there any other examples? This is good. This is what remember the number one learning objective is to be able to classify a problem in terms of is it D, H, or L. Okay? That's all I want you to be able to do this morning. If you can do that, then you get A. I give you A, A, right? <laughs> Anyone else? Any other questions? I think the explanation is good in very detailed. But, but however, uh, maybe you should add something more than DHL into the. But, uh, yes. I, I think even we, we, have, we give them good direction. We train them where we are. We uh, let them uh, go to uh, compliance training every year. Or, <coughs> and uh, we have good motivation. We have a uh, commission uh, program. We have something like that. We also give them, uh, uh, give them very well skill training. However, even though we have all of that, if we have no uh, specific uh, control system, such kind of case, so they are like that. Yeah, you choose the wrong person, so you need to fire that. Yeah, I That's as simple as that. That's so not enough. Yes, uh, uh, maybe you, 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 think, you think you choose the wrong person. However, I think maybe we should, maybe we should add uh, 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 this intro uh, DHL. Beyond DHL, maybe we have another category. Exactly. So in chapter three, which is page twenty-one, so um, page chapter three, page twenty-one is ways of solving the problem. Okay. What the DHL is about is classifying the problem. Okay. It's just classifying. It's not a solution. Okay. Whereas chapter three, chapter two was about here is DHL. Okay. Now chapter three is okay. Let's have a look at the solutions, which is exactly what you're saying. So I really appreciate your point. It's um exactly perfect timing. Thank you. <laughs> Let me explain. So we're going to move on to chapter three. Okay, now, here, remember you've got your card, we're going through one, two, and three. Okay, so now you're starting to think 